the pivot, you know, for a lot of families, it was COVID was the first time we heard the word pivot before. And, and so I think that's really wonderful that, you know, you went back and looked at the history. I tell people all the time, stories bind us, Story, mm-hmm. learn and pay attention to what they said, because the lessons are there and you don't know when you're going to need that story to be resurrected and come back and do it again. So good on you. Yeah. For- story stick, right? That's what you remember. You, you may not like, I think about sermons on Sunday, I will often Sorry if my preacher's listening. I'll often forget a lot about what was said from the pulpit, but I'll remember the stories. Like that's what that's what connects us with each other. And you mentioned image, which I think it is important. You have a consistent image that you put out there, but it's it's authentic, right? Like I love to road trip, and mm-hmm. I'm stucky, so you can't get any more authentic than having I- the name that's on the brand. So. Yeah. You have to be authentic. You have to be real. You have to say something that's relevant and that's interesting. When we follow you, you do not look like a corporate attorney or somebody that's working in government. You look like Stephanie Stuckey that wears the Birkenstocks and is just out having yeah. fun meeting people. And I love it. Just Thank you. Very, very nice. Um, and a lesson for anybody that is working on their brand on social media um it, but it, to, to your point it needs to be authentic to them not not, yes. not yours. don't recreate stephanie's story recreate yours and figure out you know what are those things what is your purpose and you know what is your vision for where you're going so good on you um yeah you know i'll throw out an acronym and i, I need to credit the person who told me and that's ted wright who's on the stuckey's board and he's also a co-owner i have two partners. I have my main business partner who's president. He and I jointly run the company. And then we have a third investor, Ted Wright, who's a marketing professional. He wrote a book called Fizz, which is about word of mouth marketing. And Ted taught me, if you want to share a story that is going to be shared by others, it has to have three things. It has to have air, authentic, interesting, and relevant. Mm. So every time you're telling a story, ask yourself, is it authentic? Right. And it doesn't, authentic does not mean every little detail has to be accurate because by gosh, I'd be pretty boring sometimes if you go through these minute details. So it's storytelling, tell a story, then interesting. You got to post stuff that people are going to want to read, give a hook, give a engaging title to your post. And then It's got to be relevant. So not everything's going to be relevant to everyone. So think who's your audience, right? My audience is going to be two people, really. I mean, it was anyone who loves a road trip because that's our brand. So we talk about the road trip, but what we're really trying to do is sell product, but that's boring. So talk about road trip, but my audience are retailers who can sell our product or customers direct to customers who are going to buy our product online or even better because we can get more money out of them. People who have a decision-making authority and corporations and want to use us for their corporate gift program because we will sell you lots of Stucky's gift tins. Love it. Yeah. That's 